Hi guys, today we're talking about how to add new driver to your Proxbox node. Okay, how to, to achieve that. Just to, for, to rem remember you, how in my lab environment, those Proxbox node has been deployed on a KVMO physical host. Okay, so this is why I will follow this following procedure. From your side, if you follow another procedure to deploy your um, your Prospect node, the procedure might be uh, slightly different, okay? But here, at the moment, I will, I have only one driver in my Prospect node, okay? This is the case for those, for the, for the whole node, okay? I have only one, only one drive at the moment, okay? By the end of this uh, course, we should have a uh, Three drives, additional drives uh, into this uh, uh, those nodes. Okay, so let me show you another way where we can proceed to check. If I hit the command LSBLK, okay, I have only one driver uh, here in my node. So let's proceed uh, to achieve that. I will already prepare a procedure for you. The uh, procedure consists on creating the, the driver on the, my KVM host. Okay, I will create create the drives. Uh, and after that, I attached, okay, the driver to my uh, different node very easily, okay? So nothing, nothing much complicated, okay? Complicated. So let's do that. And come here in my, here you can see the different Prosmos node on my KVM uh, physical host, okay? So let's create uh, the, the drives on the physical host. After that, I will attach those drivers to the Machine. Let's check. Great. So I will do the same things for the other for other node. Create a new drive for, for the second node. Great. After done that all linked uh, the driver to the nodes yeah great and the last one same thing create drives and uh, attach those driver to the last node and uh, this is uh, it okay great now it's time to check if uh, everything is okay on the node let me uh, do it so if i hit the command lsblk again as you can see we have new drives on that has been added to my uh, node. Okay, so this is it. Let me just uh, refresh our review. Yeah. Okay. And um, same things for the for the second node. Just refresh our review by going uh, on another table and coming back. You can see the new drives uh, that has been added uh, to my uh, node great so very very easily very fast to do that i hope that you do you will be able to proceed to the same thing so from your side and uh i will use both driver for the deployment of my personal node in uh cluster uh, in the cluster uh, node okay in the cluster configuration and i will use all the, this driver has of the backend storage for the self okay cluster so thank you very much. I hope that we will, we will be able to really appreciate it and uh, talk to you to the next uh, lesson. And don't forget uh, to like, comment, and share this content uh, for your colleague and your friends who may be like uh, those, this kind of content. Okay. And don't forget also to subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. And bye from now.